The year is 1960, and a soldier on a cargo plane prepares to drop as he gets the parachute ready. He makes pre-drop checks, then pushes a meowing and hissing crate out of the plane. What? The people of Sarawak, on the island of Borneo, had a problem in the 1950s, and that problem was mosquitoes. The bugs themselves weren't a problem, but the diseases they carry are responsible for more human deaths a year than almost all other animal maulings combined. The people of Sarawak contacted the World Health Organization, or WHO if you didn't already know by 2022. The WHO had a solution to this, and this is where the story diverges. The WHO decided to spray insecticide over the Bornean jungle, because that can't have any unforeseen consequences. But it is not agreed what insecticide was sprayed, with the argument being between the Eldrin, a chemical compound invented in 1948, or just straight up DDT being dropped over the Bornean jungle. Obviously, our friends at the WHO did not stop to think what dropping insecticide over a jungle would do to the local wildlife, and soon, all sorts of havoc was being played on the environment. First off, wasps. Sure, the mosquitoes all died, but so did the wasps, specifically the type of wasp that parasitizes caterpillars. This led to caterpillar populations flourishing which then proceeded to eat the thatch roofs of Sarawakan villages, causing houses to collapse, and that was just a minor problem. The insecticides also got into the fly populations, which were immune, and survived to be eaten by geckos, which were also immune, but when these geckos were eaten by cats, the real problem started. The cats, you see, were not immune to the insecticides and the geckos, and died out in large numbers. This is where we bring in another character, the rats. Fresh out of their defeat during the Rat War of 1950-53, to the rats were looking for a new victory, deciding to attack the newly catless Sarawak. But seriously, without the cats to keep them down, the rat population of Borneo skyrocketed. And what do rats carry other than the bubonic plague, which an outbreak of began on the island? So basically... The WHO swapped out malaria for the Black Death. Good move. The WHO decided something had to be done to address the rat problem. Cats had to be reintroduced to Sarawak. To do this, the WHO contacted the Royal Air Force, or RAF, for assistance. And what did these geniuses decide to do other than parachute cats into Borneo? How? One might ask, well, good question. The cats were to be loaded into a crate with a parachute that immediately deploys. Then the crates were set to open upon landing, with retrieval crews finding them later. Some 23 to 30 cats were loaded onto a plane at the RAF base in Singapore, with a recruitment drive for cats occurring in the city days before. While future accounts exaggerate the number of cats dropped over Sarawak to up to 14,000, it was more like 30. Most of the drops went according to plan, except for one cat that managed to break out of its box mid-air. I guess you can imagine how that went. Sarawak's cat population rebounded. Whether or not the efforts of the WHO helped, I'll leave it up to you. Because the mosquito population rebounded too, bringing malaria back to epidemic levels. Operation Cat Drop is a good example of the butterfly effect spiraling out of control and of at least one person losing their job. Thanks for watching.